Hello and welcome back to Crusader of Senti. We're about to go into Hot Daisy. Lordy, Hot Daisy. Gotta press the emulator screen so I can use the controller. Alright, I'm gonna try to get all the money bags, but I can't promise you I'll remember where they are. So, we actually need this penguin because... Fire dragons. Let's go down here though first. And see that there's an apple. A golden apple. How do we get to the golden apple? There's no way down from there. Let's go. I hate how long it takes you to charge your sword, and that's really the only way to kill these. Ah! I was never able to hit these things when I was playing. There we go! Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jump! Let's just little rope out so we can go down and get our max health of one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know how many of them are on the first. I'm gonna jump over there because it's about to break. And now I get our first money back. Ah, get out of my Damn it. Did you come at me or something? Here is the money bag, and let's not go that way, because I feel like that's the wrong way to go. But the things are going to break regardless. Oh my gosh! Oh! Damn, I'm doing pretty well for myself here. Alright, so in this one, we got to freeze this pond. Ah! Later on, we get an animal that allows us to throw the sword farther. That is probably the reason that I am not throwing it far enough. Oh my gosh, I hate these dragons! Alright, so let's block this one off with this. Lock this one off with this. And the sword to kill this block. So that we, since we don't have any more blocks to block them off, we can just go over here. Woo! And if we come over this way, they think there's a bag of money. Money's worth so much to me. I need that 800 million so that we can afford to pay that mermaid. Now we gotta jump on the switch. That gives us holes in the gear and the gates to go through. And I believe that's the end of the level. This level is oh, what's over here though? Hmm. Okay, what was in the cave? Oops. All right. Well, now we're in the next level, Burnt Daisy. And I'm gonna load a map up so that I know where the, the what is it called? I can try to figure out. This one's kind of a uh, annoying because it's like a maze kind of. Because there's a bunch of different. Oh, and also you'll notice that sometimes we. Oh, it happened. Sometimes you step on the ground and like the ground goes away, and if you stand still too long, you'll fall through, like I just did. But just in certain spots, like not all spots are like that, but we just found out another spot. Like it? Okay. I don't know why I did that. Doesn't seem like that was useful, except we got some health we needed because we Suck at hell. Okay. So we come back here later. I don't want to get into that right now. But let's just go. Let's just go and find out what we find out. I don't know where the money bags are here. 
really i don't remember so we're gonna try to get the money back but i can't promise you nothing so we went up to this area through the stairs so for some reason the enemies can go through planes of existence that i can't go through maybe they can sometimes they can i feel like I don't even know how we hit that guy, because he was down low. Too slow. Oh, we got some money there. And I think that was the only reason to come into that gate, because... There's nowhere else we can go from A. So let's hit this switch and get over to the B section. How do we get there? You may ask. Well, we have to go over... Whoa! This way, and down through the bridge, and this gets us to C, but we don't want to go to C. I feel like we want to go to B first, since these are numbered on this map I have. May as well do them in order. Must be some reason they're in order like that. So this is B. That sort of goes pretty far, actually. So I don't know that there's any reason we want to be. What is in here? It's just... We're pretty much blocked off. Huh. I'm not sure why that exists. I'm not sure why we went there. we we'll plan this out better. Ugh. So I've already planned out what we're gonna stop. What we're gonna stop and what we're gonna do. For this episode and the next, I don't know about the rest. Where was C? C was up there farther. I don't know why I'm going up here to D, but let's go to D first, I guess. I don't know what C is. Oh, we're not even at D. We're back over here at the beginning. I'm so stupid. Okay. Go to see then. Ah, oh, we're in C. Now we can leap. Let me make sure I have the right button. Leap, 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 leap. Again, why are we here? Oh, I know why. Let's go up. Leap up here. Whoa. I hate that this floor comes around all the time. Yeah, that was gonna happen. I knew it. And this is E, I believe. And this gets us to where we need to go. That's D. Wasn't that D? Yeah, that was D. So we just looped around. That doesn't make sense. Alrighty, let's go over here then and leap over here. Oh my gosh! Can't stop getting hit! I believe this is E. I'm not gonna get the other money bag. Sorry. So this is the boss when we come back here. Right now, we're not doing that. Oh, maybe I did. Can't get. Money bag is over in the corner here. We got it, guys! We got the money bags! Oh, what is this bird? That's... Oh, that's someone we need later, I think. We go back in time. Spoilers, we go back in time in this game. Alright, here we are at the boss to the burnt daisy. And this guy's a little tricky. So we have to follow along. Food? You dare you challenge me? Here's a hint to the secret of my power. Eight to one, one to eight, now fight! We have to see the one that's glowing red. It's over in the top right, and then we have to follow that. The whole time. And if we hit him, we hit the right one. It's a hit. And if we hit the wrong one, we get hurt. And I wasn't... 
When I was practicing, I was stopped following along after I hit the red one. I thought, oh, they're probably going to say it's red again, but no. You just have to remember which one's red every time and then follow it. One, two, three, and four. And he's way up here. And two more times. One, two, three, four. And there he is right here. And one more time. And we got him. So let's do it. Oh my god, I didn't see where that went. Oh, boing! Paul's maximum HP has increased. We now have one, two, three, four, five, six after the one. Free at last! I thought I was a goner when I was swallowed by that goofy blimp. Thank you. It feels good to be alive. Cecil the Flying Squirrel joined the group. So this is the animal that will allow us to... Not only does it make the sword go farther, but it also bounces it off walls. So, we're going to need this for a good amount of stuff. Alrighty, but that's the end of this level. Now we go to Iris. And you can already see there's a money bag here. Let's go up to the money bag. I should probably turn on the map for this. I need to find the... There is a... There is a gold... But there's a gold, um... There's a gold... What is it called? An apple! Oh my gosh. Why, is the, why are those things endless? It makes me annoyed. Oh. So here's something we have to do now. We're gonna have to jump in the holes to get away from these things. Oh my gosh. That's a new look like. I hate the enemies in this level. I'm doing pretty good now, but I was... Like, when you have to go back through this area, I get really mad. Plus, when you kill these tree stumps, their tree stump stuff that comes back doesn't... It doesn't, um... Okay. Jump! Jump! We got it! The gold apple! I didn't need the map for that, I remember things. Ah! What's the point of that? Why did he come up here? To cut some grass? Nothing even happened, there was nothing to do. Alright, let's get out of here. So you can press the A button. Oh my gosh, let's get out of here. I don't want to talk to the Firefox. <laughs> Is that a Firefox? Is that the reason Firefox has his name? So we need the... You need the Flying Squirrel's ability to make this happen. So you can jump over here. And that's the reason we need the Squirrel before we get here. And you can't get here without the Squirrel, so... Ah, see, I don't like it that it hits you even though you've killed its master. I think that the weapon should disappear if you kill the guy. So we can hit them twice by making it come back. has to pass through them for a time and then come back and then it'll I do like the money you get from this but this is this area especially is really hard to get through without getting hurt by these tree trunk things. I hate it. I don't even know why we came down here. I don't think there's anything down here. <sighs> the, the, one of the main problems I have with this game is there's lots of dead ends. Like, it looks like something would be down here, down a certain place, and then you go down there and there's nothing. I don't understand why that's like that. Why is it like that? 
Like, fear, why are we coming down here? There's nothing over here. And I bet if we come up here, some apples probably can't. We need us some apples because we are dying. Alright, let's get out of here and get rid of these walking spider tree trunks. And let's just go to the right. Now we're in a village. We can't talk to the humans still, so there's no point in talking to anyone. There is a chest here that is already accounted for. And up here is an epic greater that we will deal with later on. Ugh. That scared me back to the back to the other side of the area. Ooh, I hate these trees. They're the most annoying enemies. Gotta get their sweet coins. Alright, I believe somewhere there's a bunch of... There's a bunch of apples near here, because it's next to an apple tree. from that man, but we can go down here and get this money sack. Look at how far our sword goes. So cool. Up here is an animal village. I don't know if there's anything we can do here. Maybe we can... I don't think... That, is this where the squirrels live? The rabbit. Did you know that something strange occurred in the Tower of Babel? You see, none of the humans can communicate with one another anymore. Was it punishment for something they did? What? They can't communicate with each other just like you, Paul. Let's go to the Tower of Babel. We might be able to find out something. I think it's a metaphor, dude. Can't communicate because they're on the opposite sides of everything. So this guy will let you borrow these things? I've never had to borrow them. I don't know that you need those to do anything. I don't know what the cat does. It just looks like she's sleeping. There's a beaver here. There's a skunk here. Ah, here it is. So here's another instance where we can get a gold apple. By fixing the floor of the squirrels. I see you fixed this floor, and I didn't even ask. I like you. For this, I'll give you something worth your while. And we get another piece of our heart containers. Also known as golden apples. All right, let's go this way real quick. Okay. So now we are in a, vil a purple forest, and this forest is very magical. Hopefully we can get across here. Hmm. I feel like we had to do something else first, then. Is this what? Yeah. We need to go over here and find the cheetah first, because that's the only way we can get past the gap. Now, there's a trick to getting this cheetah by cheating. I think I'm gonna not cheat first and see if I can do it, and then we'll cheat if I can't. This is a waste plaque, 20 melons, and you can race against the cheetah. Win the race, and the cheetah will join you. Now, would you like to try? Yes. Okay, you're on. The cheetah is very fast. Give it your best. Shot. Alright, so you can talk to the cheetah, and he will say that he'll throw the race for 50 more melons, but I'm going to try to do it without that. Oh my gosh. I guess we're not doing that. <clears throat> How did that happen? <laughs> We're not doing it. I wish there was a way to rewind. We're gonna waste all our money. <laughs> oh my goodness. I 
feel like it was easy. Why wasn't it letting me turn before? When I first started the race, it didn't let me turn. We are definitely not being a cheetah. He's gonna win by a long slide. All right, I'll cut to the next race. This is ridiculous. Oh no, cheetah reached the goal first. Oh, come on, give your best shot. This is unbelievable. Shut the hell up. So we have to pay 20 every time? Okay. It's not worth it then. I'm gonna lose all my money. We may as well pay 50 to this cheetah. All right, let's talk to him. Cheap here. He only pays me 10% of the earnings. 50 malins and I will slow down for you. What do you say? Yes. Now we got a deal. You're a reasonable guy, aren't you? All right, so now we should be able to do it. He's gonna go slow for us so that we'll definitely win. And that's the cheater's way. The, I'm sure it's possible to beat him without doing that, but I don't know. So I've never done it without him. I didn't even try to race him regular the first time when I was practicing. For some reason it didn't let me turn when I first started though that last time. And I was going straight to nothing. This is like a joke when you pay him. He's just like, I'll hang back and let you win, bro. But you need the cheetah, so you better pay if you can't do this, because... You use him a lot, and he helps you so much. Not only does he help you run faster, but because you run faster, you jump farther, and you can get over that hole in the next screen. All right, I won. Now he'll join the group and let's put him on. I use him almost all the time. All right, let's get going back down to this part. Look how fast we go now. Sometimes that's annoying though, especially when trying to jump on platforms. So we need him to jump over this one. And then we jump over here and we turn into the slime and the person goes away. We've turned into a slime guy. And we're meeting our friends. Hey! Hey, Slimy! Why don't you join us and play? It's fun. It feels so good playing outside. The human is coming. He's a warrior. Hurry, run for safety. So the warrior is a mom. In the beginning of the game, humans will attack anyone just for being different. Be careful. Hey, you're not my son, Slimy, are you? A mother slime can always tell her child. Now answer me. You must be a human. Are you? Huh? Yes. Oh, I thought so. Slimy fell in love with a human and wanted to be one. I'm sure that wacky magician, Clint, had something to do with it. What should I do? Hmm, why don't you go to Clint's house and see if you're human form? What? See if you're human form? That doesn't make sense. Unless I read that very wrong. So, Clint is up here in the cookie house. Get out! I'm really, really busy! Ma Slime found out? She is mother after all. Was she sad? Yes. I see. Was I wrong? But Slimy was really serious about it. He fell in love with a human girl. Of course I tried to stop him, but he was so serious. So I decided to give him a hand, and I used my magic to switch you and Slimy. I promised Slimy I must undo my magic at all costs. I really feel bad for Ma Slime. You too. You were an unlucky victim of circumstance. So he's not powerful enough to do it. I don't know how you get that from that conversation. But now you can go back and talk to the slime mom, and she'll tell you another thing. I see he can't. Then you must find help from the old witch. At which is Klein's master. She is the only one who can possibly change you back. Inside the forest, there is a star on the ground. Step on the center ten times. Then you can enter the witch's house and ask for her help. Alright, let's do it. 
go over here, and there's a star on the ground, and if you jump in the center ten times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, it brings a little thing over, a fuse that comes and breaks her fence so we can go in her house, oh, hello, oh, it's you, Slimy, well, you smell like a human boy, <laughs> I see, that Klein casts a spell of shape shift on you. I told him not to. I'm really sorry about this, but Slimy also wanted to become a human so bad. Because of my age, I know more about humans than Klein does. Do you really want to return to your human self? Yes. Yes, yes, but even so, I cannot change you back that easily. Anyway, you must solve it by yourself, isn't that fair? Well, I see. I will give you one chance. There is one spell I'm working on. If you can overcome it with your wit, I shall return you to your normal self. Go to the next room to this one, and follow the mirror. So I don't understand... I don't understand what she's talking about. But this is the- this is the secret way to do it. You have done it! I shall keep my word, so come to the next room. Finally, I'm free from that experiment! Now I can relax! You're pretty smart. I didn't think you could do it because it was so hard. I have much respect for you. All humans are smart like you. I'm Flower. I really hate this experiment. I refuse to take part in any more of these experiments. So I don't know... What? I don't see a mirror. So I don't know what the heck she's talking about. How you figure that out without knowing. You did it. Not bad for such a little kid. I shall return you to normal self. Ziggy zaggy oi oi oi. I keep my word, you are now back to your human self. Your effort has, huh? Did you hear something from the next room? Hey, wait, I go over, my work is done and I may be able to help you, but I like your style, so you see, can I be your friend? Oh, he says I can't be able to help you. So Pieces the Caterpillar is joined, let's see what his power is. It says, sorry, I don't have any powers, I'm proud but useless, but that is not the case. It's in fact very useful, just not right now. Not in his current state. So we can jump and clear a path and get out of here. And now we're going to the Camille Desert. Let's go. I feel like this is where we were supposed to stop. Let me check. All right, yes, I checked and I think I'll stop here for episode two. In episode three, we will go to the Camellia Desert and continue our quest. See you guys next time. Remember to subscribe to my channel, ring that bell, like the video, comment down below, and share the video. Bye bye.